So I posted a video where I did some text effects inside of CapCut PC. And I asked you guys, if you wanna see these amazing text effects done on a phone, let me know in the comments. And so many of you guys let me know in the comments. So that's why we're here today. I'm showing you how to do those same five amazing text effects directly from your mobile device. If you have CapCut on your phone, this video is for you. All right, let's get into it. This first text effect is the video inside of text. You're obviously gonna need CapCut. And what you're gonna do is create a new project, go to your library, and create a black background. Just click import. Go ahead and create a text layer. I'm gonna just call this Audi. I'm gonna change my font to Montserrat so it's a bit bolder and let's increase the size so that it goes to 43. That looks great. Now I'm just gonna hit lasting text so my text covers my whole project. Now on my first frame of my text, I'm gonna highlight and add a keyframe like that. And then almost near the end, I'm gonna add another keyframe by clicking the keyframe icon. This back keyframe, I'm gonna leave as is, and I'm gonna go back to my beginning keyframe while still selected on Audi. And what I'm gonna do is make that a lot bigger just by pinching my two fingers on the screen and dragging it in. Now we wanna make sure that the white covers the whole screen, just like that. And you can see that when we play the video, the text gets smaller and smaller until we have that final text size. What you can do, I'm not gonna do it here, is if you go over the keyframe, you can see there's a graph icon. And you can see here it says, use graphs to customize transitions between keyframes. So that's a way that you can either make something ease in, ease out, and make it smoother in that motion. But I kinda like how it looks as is, so I'm gonna leave it like that. What we're gonna do from here is change our project to 4K leave your frame as is and click export. Once that file is done exporting, I'm gonna go back into the same project and click the plus icon and import that video that we just made. You can see that it's now a video of our text and our background together. I'm gonna to go ahead and delete what we had earlier and that's gonna leave just our video on the timeline. All right, from here, we wanna find the footage that we wanna integrate with our text. So I'm gonna click the plus icon and naturally I'm gonna bring in footage of Audi because my text is Audi. I'm gonna click on my video and text layer and scroll over until you find overlay. That's gonna drop it in front of our Audi footage. There we go, you can see it looks like that. Now, the last step, all I need to do is select that text layer, go to splice and hit darken. If I click the plus icon, you can see it's removed the white of our text. And now what we have is Audi and the video playing underneath Audi. That's how you do your first effect from your phone. The next effect is creating this amazing ice cube warp text effect. Go ahead and create a new project. You're gonna need all the assets that I used and your boys got you. There's a Google Drive link where you can download exactly the same assets and play around yourself. What we're gonna do from here is import those three assets into our project and click add. You can see the first asset is an ice cube, the next is a background, and the third is our text. What we wanna do is make sure that our background is the first layer, so go to your ice cube layer and click overlay. That's gonna drop the background behind that. What we then want is hustle to be in between the background and our ice cube. Let me drag that quickly in front, click on it, go over to layers. We can drag that back, so now our ice cube is in front of hustle. Great. What I need to do now is duplicate the word hustle twice. So you can see if I'm selected on hustle, there's a duplicate icon. I'm gonna just go ahead and duplicate that twice and drag these underneath each other so that there's three in a row. You can see our ice cube has sneaked back again. So I'm just gonna go select my ice cube, swipe to layers and make sure it's at the front of all those text layers. All right, so for our first hustle layer, what we're gonna do is select it. We're gonna swipe over to mask. Now what we wanna do is create a rectangle mask and just isolate the H. For my middle layer, I wanna isolate the U and the S, and this will obviously change according to the word that you have. So selecting that, I'm gonna go mask, do the same, create a rectangle mask and decrease its size and make sure that I'm just getting the U and the S. Now you can see there's a bit of T in there because the T kind of, the cross of the T covers over, but that's okay. And naturally on my third layer, I wanna create a rectangle mask and just isolate the TLE. So that's our complete word in masks. Now for my ice cube, I wanna do a cool effect that looks like the ice cube is floating. So what I'm gonna do is select my ice cube, scroll over until I find effects. In video effects, I'm gonna to go to nightclub. I'm gonna find one called play pendulum. This is gonna do something cool where our ice cube looks like it's bouncing. Now that's a bit much, so I'm gonna turn down my intensity, turn down my twist, decrease my speed as well, and lower my sharpening. Now the last step to getting this is to warp the U and the S so it looks like our text is warped while inside that ice cube. So what we need to do as well is go to effects, video effects, and we're gonna search for one called ripple. Once you find it, don't use ripples, water ripples, trippy ripples, just use the one called ripple. Go ahead and click that 
and let's change some of those values. Decrease the sharpening. I like the blur to be as is. Decrease the size, the speed to one, intensity I'm gonna lower as well, and the twist I'm gonna lower as well. From here, we're gonna go down and say cancel and click the plus icon and you can see that that effect is now applied to our timeline. But you can see next to it, it's got a main video icon. So go ahead and click it, select object, and let's select the middle hustle. Now you can see that it's just applied that blur to the U and the S. What we can do here is play with some of the values, make it slower to kind of be in conjunction with that ice cube. And if I increase the speed a bit, you'll see that the U and the S are now moving with the ice cube. This next effect is the walking text reveal effect. Essentially, you have a subject moving from one part of the frame to the next part of the frame, and that reveals your text. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna create a new project. And what I'm gonna do in this new project is the same that we did for the first video. I'm gonna create a black layer at the back. Now this will change if you're using black text, create a white background. If you're using white text, create a black background, all right? So just something like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this black layer so we have as much text as we need. There we go, there's duplicate. Now let's add a text layer and I'm gonna call it subscribe. Go back to font and I really like Montserrat. I'm just gonna drag it over to the left there because I know the video that I'm gonna use, my subject walks in a certain direction. Go ahead and click on your text layer and let's say lasting text and that's just gonna make sure our text covers our whole timeline. Let's change that to 4K and click export. All right, now in the same project, I can again go and remove those elements that we created, but not before importing the video that we're gonna use and the text subscribe text that we just made. Go ahead and click add and that's gonna import them. Then from here, we can go ahead and delete these elements. We're not gonna use them anymore. All right, so you can see that my subject walks from left to right in the frame, which is why I put my text layer on the left. From here, I can just select my text layer, scroll right over to overlay and let's drag it so that it's on top of our layer. Perfect. Now what I can do is reselect that text layer, go to splice, let's change our blend type to lighten. That's gonna remove the black and just leave our white text on the frame. You can see where we're getting with this. Now what we need to do is make a duplicate layer of our video. So I'm just gonna select my video, say duplicate, and let's as well, on my duplicated video, we're gonna go ahead and click overlay. Let's drag that over. Now what you should see is your text should vanish because we have a layer on top of our text. On our top layer, we're gonna select that, go to remove background, now CapCut. I don't know why your auto removal is a pro feature. It sucks, but if you do wanna get CapCut Pro, there's a link in the description. It supports the channel if you use my link. But let's go to custom removal and go to brush. It works pretty well. Let's get a good point where we can see our subject. Now, all I'm gonna do is brush and CapCut's still pretty decent at deducing where we wanna cut. And the great thing about this is that you can also apply it to cars and certain objects that you, wanna, uh, that you wanna isolate in your image. So there we go. I'm just gonna do a pretty sloppy job there and that should work just fine. Now it's gonna apply our custom removal of our subject that we just brushed. And I'm gonna click the plus icon. You can see it's applying in the bottom left there. And even before it's done applying, you can see that our subject has been removed and our text is now visible again because it has just isolated that subject. And for our last step, we need to apply a moving mask to our text. Now we've done this, but check how we do it. All right, so on my text layer, I'm gonna scroll right over until I find mask and we need to apply a horizontal mask. Let's make that horizontal mask vertical by just dragging it with our two fingers to 90 degrees. And what we wanna do now is find the frame where our subject covers our S. What we can do from here is drag our mask over just like that and we can click the keyframe icon. Now, what you wanna do is follow your subject, so drag your frame a couple frames forward, and let's put our mask again on the center of our subject. Move your frame a couple frames forward as well, and move it back like that, and let's move it over and drag like that, and then for our last, we're gonna drag it like that. Now, what we've done is created a series of keyframes where our subject, and we can see we actually need to drag it back a bit because the S is being revealed, just like that. Now when our subject walks, it looks like as they walk, the text is revealed from underneath them. Super, super cool. For this next text reveal, which is the dropping under and your text goes behind you, it's a really cool effect. You're gonna need to do a bit of motion. So you're gonna start with your hands closed, reveal your text, drop down, and then walk underneath your text. Create a new project, create a black background again, and I'm gonna duplicate my back, black background to make it a bit longer. Now let's add our text. I'm gonna say comment two, make it a bit bigger. 
And what we can do is staying selected on our text, swipe over until you find lasting text. Now we have 10 seconds of text. Change that to 4K and let's kick export. In that same project, let's go ahead and import the video where we actually do the demonstration of action. And we can go ahead and delete those first two files because we're not gonna need them again. Great. Go ahead and import the new video we just made, which I wrote comment two. So you guys need to subscribe and comment, please. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is add our text layer as an overlay. Now our text is in front, go to splice and let's say lighten. Now it's just our text. So you can see, I only start to move my hands around about there. So I'm gonna drag my text to start where I open my hands just like that. What we now need to do is make our text a lot smaller to fit into where we're dragging my hands. And now we need to add a mask so that we don't see the text and then we see the text. So go to the point where your hands are closed swipe over on your text layer to mask and let's create a rectangle mask and reduce the size to zero. Add a keyframe on that first frame and then what you want to do is follow your hands. So where my hands move like that, I'm going to open my text like that and then a couple frames ahead my hands are as wide as they can be. When I play that, you can see that our text is revealed as our hands open. Now for the next action, what happens is I drop under my text and you can see if we leave it as is, my text is still in front of me. So find the portion just before you come over your text to highlight your top layer, click split. Now we're gonna create a duplicate of our, the layer that we just split, the second half of the layer. Select duplicate, go ahead and highlight that duplicate. Swipe over to overlay. That's gonna drop it in front of our text and let's make sure we line it up with our other scene. Perfect. Now what we need to do is the same thing that we did for the walking text, which is brush. So selecting that, go to remove background, custom removal, and I'm gonna brush myself. Once you're brushed, you can see I have done a sloppy job. <laughs> go ahead and click that uh, tick icon. And now if I play this, you can see what happens is we duck underneath our text. And when we get up, our text is actually behind us, which is really, really cool. All right, let's move on to our last effect. Create a new project. And this is gonna be the counting numbers effect. I'm gonna make our black background and let's go ahead and duplicate that. Now, there's no great way to make this counting numbers effect. So there is a pack that you can download. I spent a lot of time manually animating these things. So go ahead and check the link in the description if you really, really wanna do this in a professional way. This is kind of just a workaround way, all right? What you're gonna do is actually add audio, swipe over and say record. From here, you're gonna record yourself saying one to whatever number you wanna get to. Now, if that number is like a thousand or 10,000, that is gonna take you a heck of a long time. So unfortunately, there's no way that you can do this on CapCut Mobile. Go on YouTube or go to the pack or download something that enables that. But let me show you how to get to like 30. I'm gonna click the microphone icon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Great. Once you're done recording, I'm going to click that plus icon. Now what we can do is toggle back and go to captions and select voiceover and say generate captions. This is going to generate all those numbers that we did up to 30 based on the voice recording that we just did. Now, you could probably get to 100 or 200. It's not going to take you too much time. And you can see all of our numbers are there. Selected on my first text layer, I'm going to go to edit captions, go to animations, select caption, and scroll down until you find one called bounce out. This is going to isolate every single number to its own. Then I'm going to go to fonts, I wonder which font I'm gonna use. Montserrat, <laughs> go to style, increase its size. I'm gonna drag it to the middle just like that. And then let's add a cool glow, a white glow just like that. I can see it's added a stroke, so I'm gonna deselect the stroke. Let me add some glow, increase the range and drop the intensity just like that. Now you can see that we have all those numbers counting up all the way to 30. From there, what you could do is export your video, bring it back into CapCut. You could change the speed so you can make it a lot faster or slower. And again, go to splice and remove that background by clicking lighten or darken, depending on how you want that text to integrate with your other videos. So there are five text effects that you can do from your phone today. I hope you found this informative and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Check out the link in the description if you want some of my professional editing assets that are gonna take things like your backgrounds and your editing abilities to the next level. Hope to see you guys soon. Cheers.